Hello everyone, this is Isabel. I'm in Barcelona. I'm in this amazing place where it all started, uh, the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I'm with one of my very good friends, Dawood Galeni, is CEO of Zariot. Finally, I've been trying to get him on my in my hotshot for a long time. I finally succeeded. Dawood, welcome to my hotshot. Well, thank you very much for having me. I know you've been trying, but you know, busy man. <laughs> I, I will always keep trying. You can run, but you can't hide from me. You should know that by now. Well. You found me. So uh, that would, we're at Barcelona, Mobile World Congress. I'm super excited. What about you? What's your, how do you feel? Um, well, I feel privileged to be back. Um, I think we're leading the pack. Um, I think that, you know, the, the size of the Mobile World Congress this year really is wonderfully intimate. Uh, it's brought me back to memories of Cannes. Um, and I think that that's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Mm. So. We've heard a lot about the evolution of wholesalers, of carriers, of operators. And a lot of people, including myself, think that the operators and the carriers, they need to let go of the past so they can grow into their future. But do you agree? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think one of the major things that has held us back uh, is the lack of innovation. Uh, and that's probably been because of the age profile of everybody in the business. Uh, what we really need to have done over the past couple of years is really brought talented uh, you know, people who are young in nurtured them um, so that they're effectively running the show now. Um, that hasn't happened. I agree. I agree. When I started, uh, I won't say how long ago, that's exactly what my company did. It brought us in and a group of very dynamic people and we really made a difference. And I think that's definitely what we need. So if you were an operator, what would you do to lead the industry for the next 10 years? Um, for me, it's relatively straightforward. The um, the model that everyone seems to be looking at at the moment is like, we've got this asset, uh, we've got an infrastructure asset, and that seems to be what they're trying to sweat. Whereas what they really should be doing is looking at the human asset. Um, that's what's going to differentiate them. That's what's actually going to grow their business. It's going to, you know, change, modify their business model, bring new revenue. Um, but just looking at the existing infrastructure and trying to sweat it, that's not going to cut it. So you're the CEO of Zariot, okay? What is your role in in making all this happen? Um, well, I think that you know, for a start, I don't think I should have necessarily ever been given the opportunity to do what we're doing. Um, I think the industry majorly missed a trick um, in the security component. Um, so we're fixing a problem uh, that really should have been addressed far uh, before I came on the scene. Um, so that's a great opportunity for us. Uh, beyond that, I think really understanding uh, the enterprise customer, their businesses, um, and having them, rather than wrap themselves around IoT, that we wrap, wrap ourselves around them and adopt IoT for exactly what their needs are by understanding intimately uh, their business requirements. That would. Thank you for the interview. It wasn't so bad, huh? No, I never thought it would be. <laughs> Wait, okay, then we can do that again very soon then. Uh, anytime. Thank you very much, Dan. Another city. Okay, you're on. Everyone, thank you for watching and until my next hot shot.